Welcome to Getting Geeky. I'm your host, Gina Shrek, and today we're talking Hootsuite's publisher page. Welcome to Getting Geeky with your host, Gina Shrek, and the occasional special guest, bringing tech tips in bite-sized pieces. She's getting geeky, getting goofy, and yeah, getting random. Welcome to Get Geek. So if you are using Hootsuite, there is a new feature on the left nav bar that you'll see, and it's called the Publish tab. And if you go to the Publisher tab, it looks like a little uh, paper airplane. Not really sure what that tie-in is, but if you go to that little tab, the little paper airplane, what it allows you to do is go ahead and schedule your tweets like you did before, but now it lays it out in a format that you're able to see, number one, how many tweets do I have scheduled for Monday? How many for Tuesday? How many for Wednesday? And maybe you're thinking, how do you plan ahead that far? But if you have an event coming up or you have something that you know that you want to repeat that post, maybe it's um, letting people know about a new new book that you have coming out. So you know you want to talk about that more than just Monday morning. So you're going to schedule that to drop Monday morning at 10, Tuesday maybe at noon, Wednesday at 4 p.m., Friday maybe at 8 a.m. Mix it around and that way you can see your content really being scheduled instead of clumping things together. A lot of times I come across a bunch of great resources. Maybe it's a list of apps that I want to share or I have 10 tips that I want to share. Well, I don't want to drop them all in one time, one right after another on Twitter or Facebook. So if I use my scheduler, I can sprinkle those throughout the week and get those set in place. And then the conversations, this doesn't mean you post things and then you're absent, but you post things so you don't have to worry about the content that's regular content that you want to put out there. And then you have the conversations in between and discussions. Sometimes I'll schedule a question to drop at 7 a.m. Um, part of it is just so I don't have to wake up too early and be ready. But then when I um, go and log on, maybe it's at 7, 7.30, there's already questions and comments coming in or responses to that question that I can then just get into conversation mode. And I don't have to think about what was it that I wanted to post. So using that publisher page is really helpful. Now, if you work with a team of people, this is where this is the value is increased because now I can even see what's published for XYZ company? What do we have scheduled for this particular company Y? What do I have scheduled um, from our team members on company Z? So I'm able to actually see in one page everything that's scheduled for our team. I can even filter that by, uh, number one, I can filter by accounts, show me just what's, uh, what's scheduled for company Z. I don't want to see all the rest or show me just what's scheduled for my posts. And then I can also filter by team members. So I might want to see what has Mindy scheduled, what has Kristen scheduled, what has Gina scheduled, and you can break it down and see who has what already scheduled so you don't duplicate efforts. Um, so I think that's a really helpful feature. Let's show you a couple uh, live shots here of the screen and I'll point some things out as we go. But I think it's a great, great tool for managing your social media. So taking a quick look at Hootsuite, once you log in, hootsuite.com, it'll open up your main dashboard here. And again, this is um, how I have it set up by tabs, and I'll go into that in another episode. But I want us to look at the little paper airplane. So if you click on the Publisher tab, and again, it is fairly new, but when you look at this um, Publisher tab, it will show you everything that is scheduled for the day. So you might have, again, just your account or you may have multiple accounts, but you're able to see and then you can come up here and you can type in another post that you're wanting to get out and you're able to kind of make sure that you're not clumping them together and you choose the network that you're wanting to share it and go ahead and schedule it in here. So I like the publisher tab because you can see everything in one 
swoop. Now you can filter by profile so I can go down and choose the client that I want to post for or see the posts for. Maybe I want to see everything that's post uh, scheduled to post for one particular client or I can see which team member um, has posted or has scheduled things. So that's helpful as well. I can look at the whole list. I can also look at a calendar by day, week, or month. So to me, this is a great feature. Again, it's fairly new. The Publisher tab on Hootsuite. Gotta love it. Okay, so you see... That was easy. It really is easy. So keep getting geeky.